everyone, Sean Clement here for Wisdom in Golf and Golf WRX, and I have next to me our home kinesiologist. This is Munashi Masawi. Yes. And for the occasion, you know, Munashi's played a lot of football. He played university football for five years, and he played it in, in a multi multitude of positions, actually two positions, yeah. D-line and receiver. Yes, starter, receiver, and then move to defensive end. So you know your way around a football field. Pretty good, yeah. And what would you say would be uh, Tom Brady's biggest attribute on the football field? Uh, the one thing that comes to mind is when he's under pressure in the last two minutes of the game. Yeah. And uh, he becomes, you know, one of the perennial stars that he is. And he handles the situation like a champ. And Just like Tiger Woods in golf. That's right, yeah. So that the more pressure is on him, the more he finds his his way the yep. easier to find his way that's right so because it lights up his central nervous system in in the correct way where other ones would falter and get nervous yeah, yeah. and be careful of a mistake yeah he relishes the opportunity yeah it's like it's all or nothing yeah he takes control and sees the moment so what we want to do is get tom to do the same thing in golf and there's a, a couple of really easy technicalities. I mean, really easy technicalities that can turn Tom from a, 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 an ordinary player into a really solid golfer, even, dare I say, superstar golfer. Yeah. Because look at the guy. He's, he's in such fantastic shape. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it looks great. And, and to start off, if you look at his posture, it looks spot on. It is so solid over the ball. You look at, it looks in beautiful balance. His center of gravity is moving through the hips, through the knees, into the arch of, arches of his feet. And he looks extremely athletic and balanced over the ball. And you look at his backswing, it's very much on plane. He really takes the club back on a line that is consistent with the direction he wants to start the ball. So we're good. We got a proper takeaway, top of backswing gets just a little bit dicey. And the reason is this, the club face at the top of the backswing, because he's, he's actually hinging his wrists properly. Yeah. A lot of uh, instructors out there and a lot of critics are saying, well, if he were to bow his wrist more, he would get that club face a lot more shut at the top yeah. and that would allow him to square up because he's losing a lot of shots to the right. Yeah. But he's also hitting a lot of shots fat. And that's important to understand. Now, if you look at football, and you look at the way you cradle a football for a football throw. Yeah. So you notice that the, 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 the way that your hand loads up, it loads up exactly the same way in golf, right on that anatomical snuff box. This is where your, your wrist is gonna hinge in football. Now notice, you're never going to hold the football at the front of the ball because the thing will just fall back behind you. Yeah. So the way that you cradle that football yeah. is from behind it. And you got that, that index finger on that last thread there, right behind that last thread. Yeah. So that when you throw towards the target, well, that football can follow the hand. So the hand leads the elbow. Yeah. Pardon me. The elbow leads the hand. Duh. Elbow leads the hand and the hand leads the football. It's the same thing underneath. That's right. So if I were to throw the football in your direction, there's my hinge, yep. and now I'm moving in your direction. So notice how the elbow leads the hand, the hand leads the football, and where I'm releasing the football is out there towards you. Right. Okay. So the only way to a target, right, because when Tom Brady's getting ready to throw, he has a very specific target. And on top of that, because his teammates are helping him out, yeah. hey, there's a specific play. He knows that player is going to be there at about that time, and he's getting ready to fire in that direction. So the whole body is ready to move in the direction that you want the football to go. Yeah. When the grip now is when you, when you look at the top of the backswing and you have a beautiful hinge, but you'll notice that the club face is pointing toward the ground. It's very open. Yeah. Because the club face is open, and you've, you've experienced this firsthand, haven't you, Moon? Yeah. And we're going to get into, you'll see how we fixed Munasha here. So, and this is just your second year of golf. Yeah, that's right. All right? Yeah, yeah. And, and this man here is busting drives at 320 carry now with a little draw. Yeah. Whereas last year it was 240, you know, sideways into the bush. So 
the way that you're coming through with that arm club unit is super important. So if that club face is a little bit too open, I'm trying to go that way toward the target, but look at the club face. How is that ever going to square up? And that's why you see Tom standing up. Be, well, the problem is, is he's got to square that sucker up. So he's got this beautiful posture. And if he had that club face a little bit more closed, yeah. see the top of my backswing now, how that club face is a Dustin Johnson's up here. Yeah. And we're trying to get, you know, at least at 45 degrees. That's, that would be dynamically square. So we're coming down. See where my hands are? Look at the club face now. So my hands are past the ball. The club comes down, collects the ball from where it is, and releases the ball in the direction that we want the ball to go. So right. see how nice and straight that went? Yeah. What I just did there is exactly like in hockey. Yeah. Tom, why do you think hockey sticks have a curved blade on them? Because when the hands are forward, you don't lose the puck. Yeah. The hands must lead. So I'm collecting the puck from here, and releasing the puck in the direction I want that ball to go. So you'll look at um, a wonderful video. We, it's uh, a historic video that we just put out. Right. Where you were one of the stars of that video. Yeah. And you look at Munashe's club face at the top of the backswing now, and it's in between square and very closed. And Savannah, who's deep through the ball and can still play a power fade, her club face is just like Dustin Johnson's at the top of the backswing she never has to worry about squaring up the club. She just focuses on her target, releases out toward the target, and the ball goes to the target. That's the way it's supposed to do. You look at where you want the football to go, you throw it, and it goes there. You don't have to worry about, hey, is, is this going to square up? Yeah. And that's the problem right now with Tom, especially if you look at his swing face on. So you look at his swing face on, and you will see a very weak grip. So it's weak to neutral here. Now, if the hands come forward, well, look at the face now. The face is collecting open. So before you can release to the target, well, you got to abandon ship and you have to release at the ball. So you got to come back and stand up because the distance between you and the ball will change significantly depending on where you're releasing. So Look here next to me and you see a picture of Joachim Neiman. Joachim Neiman. Do you see, remember seeing that picture? So you have this gorgeous posture and then on the way down, he actually goes down even more and you look at him at impact and that trail elbow is super bent. He is the ultimate collect releaser. So he collects it here and releases it down there. Well, if you're going to collect it here, you can't stand up. You can't come out of it right so now we have that posture and we have that room in front of us and we have now let's look at this so tom all you got to do close the face then take that neutral grip right now you have a choice you can bring it back now see how it's a stronger grip now or you can just leave it closed or somewhere in between it doesn't matter because once you go dynamically it's like holy cow look at that now i can go collect the ball from here and really release it deep out there. So your potential for a lot more distance, I would say 15 to 30 yards, at least 15 yards on the irons and at least another 30 yards on the driver and way straight, way straighter. And, and that's why, you know, I heard that he wasn't playing with a driver and he needed more loft. Really? <laughs> yeah. So three wood is more forgiving. Yeah, it is. And you can keep a three wood in play. That's so he's right. having a hard time keeping the driver in play because of this grip club relationship. So if you're starting neutral and you're dynamically open, you're coming down to the ball. Here's where it comes. So you can see his club face is actually open coming down. So he has to release it all. Now, look at this. He's got to stand up to hit the ball. See what happened there? Yeah. So if you stay down and swing at the ball, you'll go way past the ball and shank it. In order for you to hit the ball, you got to stand up. That's all. Yeah. But if your grip and club relationship is strong enough, now from there, you can collect and release the ball out into the picture. And now you've got this nice strong grip. Yeah. 
and you got this really nice collection and now the ball comes out. You see how nice and low that iron came out? That's a seven iron I'm just hitting there. Yeah. And that ball came out with a nice piercing trajectory with a nice little draw on it. Yeah. That's how you get that control over the golf ball. So number one, if we look at uh, here, let's look at your swing for a second. Okay. Go ahead and take your grip club relate, your, your, your setup, okay. and go to the top of your backswing stop. So look at this. You got this beautiful hinge. So by the way, folks, this is not a cupped position with the hand. This is properly hinged on the anatomical snuff boxes. Both wrists are hinging on those anatomical snuff boxes, and that's what Tom does well. Look at the club face though. See that? That will go that way. Munashe now, sorry Mu. It's okay. Munashe has the opportunity to go to the target now. If he releases at the ball, it's gonna hook. If he releases out to the target, it's gonna go out there and depending on, hey, it could be a little too close, a little too open, but you'll see that the ball flight, the more you swing out toward the target, the more your ball flight tightens up. Right. So I asked you a very important question because Notice now that you're back on the golf course. Yeah. And here's a, a really nice little tidbit for you guys. Your ability to predict when you go to the target, what's gonna transpire through impact, right? Mm -hmm. So if you go ahead and set up, I'm gonna put this in front. And Sav, could you take the camera and bring, come, come up front here and, and take a close up on our club faces? Yeah, there, Savannah's behind the camera for us. So now, imagine this is a door frame or a wall, right? Yeah. And you're gonna squeeze the ball against my club face in slow motion. Take your backswing. See how he's staying with it? Now we're coming back down. Good, look at look where your hands are. Yeah, the lag's there. Exactly, the lag is instantly there. And because the lag is there, the posture's there. He's not gonna stand out of this. So now you collect the ball here, yeah. notice the sole of the club hasn't gotten through that imaginary uh, dandelion stem yet. Yeah. And then you apply some pressure, right? Yeah. So can you see how the sole of the club now is going to stay along the ground yeah. on the way through? Yes, yeah. So in the, so if you take your, go ahead and take your setup here. Yeah. Now, do you have enough room for both arms in front of you? Yes. You feel nice and balanced. Yeah. Okay, so you see that nice posture there. And Moo's got very long arms, so he's got to, you know, pre-deploy the arm club unit a little bit more. Yeah. So now from there, show me that slow motion again. Gather. Whoop, notice how you're going to hit the ground? Yeah. So gather again and stop. Okay. Shift into your right. Now come down. Uh, see the diff? Yeah. So you, at the top of the swing, you are going to manipulate the club to meet the ball. Okay. And this is what Tom's, that, that's the last thing Tom needs to do. Now, the reason why he can't shift properly into that forward side yeah. is because that face is too open. So he's going to sway off the ball a little bit. So he tends to sway off the ball yeah. and then stays back. He needs that ball to be a little more forward to give that club face more time to square up. Okay. Okay. Yeah. In your case, it's you went to the top and tried to manipulate the club back to the ball. Okay. So what I want you to do is feel like you're gonna use the weight of both arms in the club yeah. to compress pound that ball through that door frame. Okay. So show me what it would look like in your transition. So top of the backswing stop, into that right side, feel the diff? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay, so now pretend that's your door frame. I'm going to remove it as you swing. Okay. Stay with that particular feel, okay? Right. Go ahead and execute. Awesome.
awesome. See how nice that went? Yeah. And look at how crisp, did you guys hear that contact? Really nice divot, the ball was right there and the, and the divot came out right after the ball. Notice the divot's closer to your front foot? Yeah. So because you were squeezing through the door frame and out toward the target. Yeah. So Tom, there's a really good, and for those of you who are like Tom with that club face too open and the grip too neutral, yeah. there's a really good acid test. So if you put your club like this for me, there's your door frame. Mm -hmm. So now, get to the top. Now, I'm gonna go squeeze that ball into the door frame. Yeah. The brain's gonna go get the ground. Use the ground to get my body out of the way. Now I'm coming down. So for me, it doesn't feel like I have to square up anything yeah. to be able to do that. See that? Yeah. So if you feel that like you're coming into the door frame like this, and then you have to square it with your body, yeah or square it with your wrist, or square it with the flip of the hands, yeah. you're too open to begin with. And that is a classic example of Tom's grip. Too neutral, too square. Yeah. Can't get through the ball from there. Look at Webb Simpson, Matt Kuchar, Bubba Watson, dozens of super strong players, Hall of Fame players on the PGA Tour with very strong grips yeah the one you have now yeah and now you're hitting superstar shots on the golf course yeah exactly. not consistently yet not yet no but sure. now you see what your potential is yeah right with their help it's getting better dude thanks for helping me out no really appreciate it hope you guys enjoyed that we'll see you next week all the best take care